Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today it's all about sport proof, sweat proof, transfer proof, waterproof, humidity proof, gym proof makeup. Let's get into it. First step, we need a sweat absorbing face lotion. This is by the brand Carpe and I saw this, I think it was on TikTok or it was an ad, one of those. This little lotion is $24.95. You're gonna feel a cool rush with their gel toner. It's free from oils, obviously. It's supposed to gently hydrate your skin by using jojoba esters, silica microspheres that form to basically create that barrier on your skin. It has a touch of witch hazel, aloe vera, oatmeal extracts with sunflower, rice, and rosemary plants. And it's supposed to make you feel fresh, clean, and most of all, dry. You know what, let's do one, like one cheek. Wow, okay, I thought it was gonna be a lot thicker for some reason, but it's very lightweight and it almost kind of has a gel texture. And they said rub it in, and they did say wait for it to kind of settle and then apply the rest of your makeup. Oh, okay, you can kind of see it right away, the difference. It kind of took the shine away. Oh, and it's very cooling. Like they said, you feel that rush, that cool breeze kind of on your face in a way. The only thing I'm kind of feeling a little bit of pilling. I did apply a toner to my face, my Ren Ready City Glow, but I didn't apply a lot of it. So I'm kind of concerned. You can see a major difference. On this side, it's a little bit more glowy. It's a little more, plump looking versus this side. There's still a little bit of a glow, but even the texture of my skin, it feels very dry. We're gonna let that dry. Let's quickly go to eyebrows and do those because I do have two products that are sweat resistant, water resistant, all that good stuff. So there is a new brow pencil. This is by Patrick Ta and this is their major brow defining pencil. It is $25. Oh, that's actually pretty expensive for a brow pencil. $25, it's supposed to be water resistant and long wearing. This is light brown. That's actually really nice, I like that. I'm just gonna brush up my hair using the little spoolie and then start filling in. It's very pigmented. I'm barely pressing down and I'm having no issues transferring onto my brow hairs, which is good. Seems like it's blendable. I like the shape so far. The shape is really nice. You can create those hair-like strokes. You can be precise with it as well. The only concern is there's not that much brow product in here. Let's see how much there really is. Cause I feel like I'm using a lot. Wow, that's nothing. All right, I'm gonna call them out. This right here is the exact same amount as Benefit Per Slice My Brow in the miniature size. The exact same amount but Benefit is $15 versus 25. So a brow gel, we wanted to find one that actually had claims of being um, either transfer proof, water resistant, sweat resistant, one of those. And this one right here is by Makeup, by Makeup Forever, their Aqua Resist Waterproof Tinted Eyebrow Gel. 24 US dollars and they have a total of five shades. I picked up shade medium brown. It's supposed to be a tinted lightweight gel that delivers up to 24 hours of waterproof, smudge proof wear with a comfortable hold. The actual wand, it's super, super tiny and it has a little bit of a slant. It's a little bit curved, but I do like how tiny it is. So you can be really precise with it. It's actually pretty powdery of a formula. I could have just went with this instead of the pencil. It looks like it has some type of hold, but I'm not sure. It's not giving the lamination type of effect, but it looks like it's giving some type of hold. This is very pigmented. I actually took some off on the back of my hand before going to my brows. It's a little messy just because it is pigmented, so I'll have to clean it up right there but I'm pretty impressed so far. So a new foundation is by Hourglass and this is their Soft Glow Foundation, their ambient line. The formula is supposedly a transfer resistant, resistant to humidity and sweat, 16 hours wear, $58. So it's supposed to have a medium buildable coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours and it's supposed to have a natural finish. The texture of the foundation is very thick but it's creamy, it's not, it's not pasty. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown face brush and we're gonna go first. Let's go on, mm, which side should I do first? Let's do this side. With 
that lotion, sweat proof lotion, sweat resistant. Ooh, that is not blending good. Oh, that is not looking good. That is patchy. I don't think it's the foundation. I think it's the lotion that's making it look very patchy and uneven. Yeah, you can see on this side, it's blending in pretty nice. It's definitely a medium co coverage right away. Let's not worry about the color because <laughs> it's definitely not a good match. But this is what you get for buying online. <laughs> I think this product is a little heavy for what I'm into right now. Oh, look how bad it looks on the forehead with that sweat resistant lotion. Yeah, it looks better with my finger, but the finger, it's taken off that lotion underneath. You can see that. Took some on the back of my hand with the damp sponge and trying to work that in. So much better with the sponge and it looks like it's not picking up that lotion underneath and it's not pilling further, so that's good. For concealer, we have this one by Morphe. This is their Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. It's supposed to brighten, conceal, and sculpt with a full range of skin tones with high-performing hyaluronic acid and pomegranate seed extract. Well, that's great. Oh, okay. I like the way it's kind of brightening my under eyes. It's still brightened, but it also concealed but it's not super heavy under the skin. I mean, under the eyes. Wow, that's actually really pretty. It looks like it's kind of sticking to some spots where I have that lotion. I'm gonna try to use my fingertips to help blend. Cause it looks like this lotion likes your fingertips, the warmth of your fingertips. So we have a gel pencil, gel eyeliner by Item Beauty. And this is their Lucky Line Longwear Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. 14 US dollars. It's an ultra soft, easy glide, clean gel pencil that is water, sweat, and smudge proof for intense, long lasting pigment with a creamy matte finish. I'm going to, I think, um, do a soft wing and I think I wanna bring it into my waterline as well. It's doing pretty decent. Like I said, I'm gonna bring it under my lower lash line as well. I do want to smoke this out. And then I'm going to tight line and go in the water line. It looks like it's setting pretty fast. But there's still a little bit of playing time. I kind of don't like the way it's smoking out. It looks a little patchy, but it looks like you do have to work fast with it. Okay, so it's a fine eyeliner pencil. It's not the creamiest. It's not extremely smooth where you can blend it out and it's just gonna give you that beautiful smoked out effect. We'll see how this one wears. I'm really curious. Um, it did skip quite a bit and it's not the most blendable. It's not the most creamiest. So that's kind of the only issue I have with it. And you're not getting that much more product than you think for the price tag. So I have two mascaras more luxury and then more pro grade pricing. So the first one is by the brand by, by Redo. Is it by Redo or Redo? It's the perfume fragrance brand, but they also have a mascara. It's their waterproof mascara, $46. And the actual name of it is called Tears in Rain. I thought that was cute. It's supposed to be a shower proof, gym proof, swim proof, and tear proof mascara that delivers a high definition effect to your lashes. Oh wow, that's black. I like that it's delivering right away, you know? It's separating my lashes, but I think it's weighing my lashes down also. And it's kind of messy. I'm gonna quickly clean that up and then come back right, right away and apply mascara because I don't know how fast it sets. Okay, it's not looking good. I think just stick to the one coat because <laughs> it's kind of making my lashes look very uh, sad and droopy. Next mascara is by Patrick Starr, and this is their one size. Ultimate Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. Smudge proof, sweat proof, and flake proof. Supposed to be volumizing, lengthening, and curling. Okay. It's up to 24 hours of wear with the richest black pigment. This one's also delivering. The wand itself, the bristles, they're a little bit prickly, more stiff than bendy, which is good, but you do have to be careful. Wow, this, this eye looks beautiful with those lashes, that mascara, I mean. And I can layer easier. And then just use the bristles to brush out. This is a much easier formula to work with. We have a new cream bronzer, 
finally got my hands on it. The coveted Charlotte Tilbury, the beautiful skin, sun-kissed glow cream bronzer, 56 US dollars. You think, you know, when you get it, you're like, wow, that's a lot. You're getting a lot of bronzer for your buck, right? You're not. There is only 0.74 ounces versus something like this, like Say Beauty or Anastasia Beverly Hills. You actually get one fluid ounce, 0.74 fluid ounces. You're actually getting less. Say Beauty, I believe this one is 30. 30 US dollars. So you're actually getting more in these little pots versus this one right here. Okay, let's give it a go. So what is this? This bronzer, it's supposed to be blurring, sweat proof and humidity proof. Oh, okay, okay. I got shade Fair, which is their first shade and they have three other shades available. Worked it into the brush. Let's see how pigmented it is. Okay. Looks like it's pretty pigmented actually. I'm gonna softly buff this out. Sculpted, Andre said. Kinda looks bad. <laughs> I definitely put too much. Where's my sponge? Let's blend her out. I like it on the forehead. Dirty. Yeah, it looks dirty on the cheeks right here. Let's see if it looks better on this side. I picked up less product on here for this side and we'll see how that blends out or what the color looks like. Cause on this side, it looks kind of muddy and dirty. It does look airbrushed. I see that airbrush effect that it's talking about. Not airbrush, that blurred effect. It's giving that airbrush blurred finish on both sides. It looks very pretty and it somehow does provide you with that sun-kissed glow for blush. I already used this one, but this is the newer blushes by Benefit and this is the Wonderful World Silky Soft Powder Blush. These are each $29 and they're sweat proof, humidity proof and smudge proof formulas. I think today I wanna use this one right here, Cresta. They call it a strawberry pink with a soft shimmer finish. I haven't used this one. They are pretty pigmented so you do have to go with a light hand and then build it up. But this formula, it's very silky like they describe, it's very soft, it blends beautifully, packs a nice punch, it doesn't exaggerate any kind of texture on your skin, it doesn't look powdery on your skin, it just looks beautiful. It's translating beautifully on the skin, giving that beautiful strawberry pink, strawberry pink with a very soft shimmer, but it doesn't look like glitter. And these are fragrance, so keep that in mind, but they don't, the, the scent doesn't really linger on the skin. I don't smell it throughout the day. For a lip product, I got these in the PR. This is a new product from Urban Decay, and this is their Vice Lip Bond Glossy Liquid Lipstick. It's supposed to be transfer proof, smudge proof, and food plus water resistant. 25 US dollars. I'm gonna use this shade called Textum. Ooh, it's actually very pretty. I didn't swatch this shade yet. Very intense, very opaque. And I'm curious how this is going to wear. It's been several minutes. Let me kiss the back of my, let's do this one. Let's get the kiss the back of my hand. There's a little bit of transfer. It looks like from where there's quite a bit of product. Oh, that's actually quite a bit of transfer. Maybe it needs more than like three, four minutes to dry down. Hopefully it's just gonna be a stain underneath. I do wanna set my makeup using the one size Patrick Star On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I've been really liking this. It's my second bottle. The setting spray is also waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof with a 16 hour mattifying setting spray. Next level hold. It's like a hairspray for your makeup. The miniature size is $15 and the full size is 30. It doesn't make me super matte, which is kind of shocking. It's literally in the name, mattifying, but it does make my makeup last a really long time. And just the way my cheeks look throughout the day, they just look so fresh. They look so intense and bold just as when I first applied them. They look gorgeous throughout the entire day. We are ready for the day and we are ready for tennis. I'm excited to go sweat and see what happens with this makeup. Look how dusty our tennis, <laughs> tennis uh, bag is. <laughs> it's so dusty. <laughs> I'm excited to go play, but two years, worth of, two years worth of dust. Yeah, let's go play. Let's see how this makeup is sweat proof and sport proof. Let's 
to play some tennis. Andre, you ready for this? I'm ready. Wanna I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Just. I don't hit Emma right. Damn! It's right, Andre. It's right. Um, she's sweating. Honestly, looks pretty good, but I'm literally sweating for my forehead. Feels like for my eyeballs. I am soaked. Honestly, feels pretty good. Might if like I pat it dry, it's probably gonna look good, but. She's sweaty, not sweat proof. I'm sweaty, but I feel like I'm less sweaty on this side. Let me see. Let me see the other side now. This one right here, I can actually pick up the droplets. This one is not as bad. I guess it's working a little. Yeah, but the forehead, I mean, cause I'm sweating from the actual head, is just everywhere. It works a little, like if you're gonna play some sports where you sweat, yeah. yeah. They don't mean that kind of sweat proof. They That's mean what when I was you, expecting. <laughs> they mean when you like, you know, walk outside and it's hot and you come How back is in. It on my on my mustache. Are there droplets of sweat? Because I would have so many droplets. It's, it's they're forming. Yours is intense. Yeah. I'm go pee. One, one. Okay, let's go pee. Okay, let's go, bud. Alrighty, we are back home and I am now somewhat dry after playing tennis honestly that was so much fun the weather has just been so hot this summer so having a nice evening where it was actually pretty cool the weather wise it was so so incredible we took the kids and my mother-in-law and it was just so much fun and we had a blast we got our tennis in played a little bit over 30 minutes i think the lotion side looks a little bit better Trying to see how bad the makeup broke apart. If anything, I think the cheeks look a little bit more airbrushed on the lotion side with the sweat proof lotion. But surprisingly, the forehead looks pretty good. I'm not overly too glowy. I'm not overly too oily looking. I don't feel too oily. So I do think it's doing something. But the results of that, the skin looks a little drier. Everything clinks to the lotion. The blush, the the bronzer, it's still on. I, a lot of the bronzers kind of disappeared right here where I was sweating, but I still see a little bit of bronzer right here. The tone for my skin type, um, skin tone, I'm not really liking it as much as my other bronzers, and you don't get as much bronzer as you do from the other bronzers. The blush, I already know I love it, but this color is stunning. The cheeks still look really soft, very... <sighs> very soft very airbrushed um moving on to eyeliner eyeliner actually has moved into the crease so i'm not impressed with the longevity of it because it said it's waterproof it's not supposed to budge it has budged there are better eyeliners at the drugstore for more bang for your buck next thing mascaras Honestly, this mascara looks pretty good. I recurled both lashes and this lash on this side, these lashes, they're still very curled. They're very lifted, very beautiful, very black. So the mascaras, I actually like the Byredo better than the Patrick Top. What's Patrick or Patrick, Patrick Star? Patrick Star, the one size. This one is flaking pretty bad on me and it's supposed to be flake free for up to 24 hours. <laughs> it's not. So I'm pretty impressed with this mascara, honestly. I'm curious how it's gonna take off, but hopefully it's gonna take off nice. The concealer, concealer. How is the concealer looking? Actually looks pretty good. It's a very lightweight concealer. It's definitely a light to medium coverage. I really enjoyed the concealer. It blended in really well. It highlighted and concealed my under eyes and I'm very happy. I'm gonna keep wearing it. Okay, lip. There's still something on my lips, but this lip product, personally, it's 
not comfortable. It's just always there. You can always feel it. It's not 100% transfer proof. Like it was transferring on my water bottle, my straw. It was transferring when I was eating and it kind of just, a lot of it has dis disappeared when I finished eating food. It like settles all the fine lines. It just makes your lips look more wrinkly and I'm not, it's just there. I just want to take it off. You know, it's that type of product. I forgot to talk about the eyebrows. <laughs> They're still there. Mm, pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. I think I am more so impressed with the Makeup Forever. Not impressed with the pencil, especially for the price and the amount that you get. I think that's my biggest gripe with it. And then the setting spray. I already know I love the setting spray. I use it all the time. Like I said, this is my second bottle. I'm going to repurchase the full size next time. So that's going to be my third bottle that I repurchase. But I like that setting spray. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye. I'm curious to see how this mascara takes off. Oh, wow. Okay, this one, the Patrick Star, that one's coming off really nice. This one, I'm gonna have to work a little bit more. Still on there. Ooh, okay. Well, that's a waterproof formula. It's not bad with just the first cleanse, but my lashes are coming off. Looks like it came off pretty good for, you know, one exception. <laughs> my la some of my eyelashes fell out, but nice and clean. Okay, just have to work a little bit harder to take the mascara off, but yeah, there you go. <laughs>